again going from behind the nail at all times and practice does make perfect you know I've been doing this for almost 12 years now my nails I want anybody else touch my nails I got a professional manicure back in um, I think it was like August, July, August 2000 in the hope of making my nails stop breaking them but it didn't work, they still broke and then a dear friend of mine who is a nail technician I allowed her to file them once and she scalped them to with an inch of a life and she done the, the thing where all the tips were the same thought, so I do my own and I teach my ladies how to do their own. So let's say for example if you've been to beauty college you're gonna want to dismiss pretty much everything you learnt there when it comes to nails. Yeah, I'm happy with them, I'm happy, I'm happy doing the lengths of them. Um, now this I injured this nail about two oh, about two months ago so I've been keeping her short till the injury grew out so I'm not going to take any length off her at all I'm just going to make sure she's the right shape that I want which is obviously a nice almost oval shape not quite arch an archy oval because we don't want it to go up into too much of an arch. Again, file them from behind the nail. Now what I'm going to do I've filed all them nails. I'm now going to seal them with my three-way buffer. Now I'm going to use the roughest side first and I'm going to go in exactly the same way that I've gone round my nails. I'm going to do the sides and all behind the nail exactly where I've just filed. I'm going to use the rough side then I'm going to use the smooth side to smooth the nail. Now this rough side should have removed any snags that you may have had or any rough, rough bits. Then we're going to use the smoother side, which is side number two, to smooth round the, nail, the edge of the nail, free edges. Now this gives the free edges a nice razor sharp glass like finish. It gives them extra strength as well and makes them proper watertight. I'm going to finish that off now with our polish side number one. Now, let's say, for instance, during the first nail filing period, you found your nails particularly short. You may just want to give them a tickle on the next nail filing period, in which case you can use your three-way buffer to do that. You just literally, as if you're filing your nails, but you're just tidying up the nail tip and keeping them watertight. So that's if you've filed them really short. You, you don't have to whip your nail, glass nail file out. You can literally do it with this. But if you do need, you'll feel if your, your nails need any length off. It's like you can feel them talking to you and you feel how they're feeling. you just got to pay attention, that's all. And then we'll check on it, uh, like I check on my towel or like my woolly um, slippers. Check there's no snags, any snags obviously seal off again with your three-way buffer. So again, go and seal this nail. Going around the same, exact same area what I've used with the nail file and the emery board. Make sure there's no snags. Use number side two, make sure the water tight. They've got a nice glass like finish on the edge. Again with the last one. One with pinky finger. And again, it's important that you file your nails during every nail filing period as stated on the Lunatic's Tree of Life calendar. And this is because 
We're keeping them in the active growth phase. Nails naturally break. We don't want ours to break. At Lunatips, we under, because we understand how nails work, we can intercept the growing phase. So, rather than them breaking, they think they've broke already. Again, we're going to seal that nail. Move on to the thumbnail. And again, exactly the same way we've got used the nail, glass nail file. Remove any snags. And again, smooth with the smooth. Again, remember, you never, ever, ever coming into contact with the top of the nail when we're filing nails. It's an easy rule to remember. When you're filing nails, we're always working from underneath. When we're buffing and doing cuticles, we're always working from above. And never the twain shall meet. Well, if you do, there's complete chaos, as in breaking nails, splitting nails, fragile nails. It's not our game at Luna Tips. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful, long, strong, healthy nails. Or of even lengths, not the same lengths. Again, they're not supposed to be the same lengths. This is your longest nail, followed by this nail, followed by this nail, followed by this nail. Your thumbnail should be relative to this nail, maybe a little shorter. Or roughly, I would say on average about the same, these two nails, the size of those two nail tips are going to be approximately the same. Again, this is the standard lunatics nail.